Hey Virginies, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Mo, I'm 28. I'm working on my financial freedom journey. And if you're returning, hey friend. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna do two things, right? I'm gonna go over some of my transactions for, I don't wanna, it is kind of the top of June, but also the middle of June, because June is coming and going. But I'm also gonna close out my May savings tracker. So basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and color them in. I no longer have this blue marker, okay? I call myself throwing away all of my markers that didn't, you know, the, the pigment wasn't pigmenting. <laughs> so I'm probably either gonna use like a highlighter or and, wow, or slash and this blue color right here. So I think this goes best with it. So I'm gonna go over both, but first I'm gonna do my transactions. And before we get into this video, what I'm gonna do is also let you guys know about this, um, money off so currently on paperbymo.com we are having a juneteenth and father's day sale happy father's day um where you get 19 percent off of everything so that includes the physical budget planners digital budget planners as well as the savings planner okay i know it's we six months through but you can still save money okay so make sure you guys go check that out and you have to use the code this is not an automatic sale um so the code and the link to it will all be down below in the description. And let's get into these transactions. Cause money, money has been going out, I have to say. First, let's see if I can zoom you guys in really quick. Okay. So first things first, um, actually let's go back to May. Let's go to May and let's go see where I stopped at. <clears throat> so I actually stopped on June 3rd. Um, and I stopped there because it was food and that was money that I spent food from my May paycheck. So I say that to say, I'm gonna go ahead and start with June 4th, okay? So, um, I don't know. So here, this was an Amazon purchase. Uh, if you guys know, I am engaged. Um, so I'm gonna just categorize this from my his and hers money. Um, and this <clears throat> ended up being $82.65. So this was specifically for our engagement party. Some of the decorations slash pictures and other stuff. So y'all, life is expensive. So the next one is gonna be June 5th. And this was for the dentist I did go to the dentist so I didn't have new cavities but nobody told me that old cavities you have to get refilled like after so many years so I had to pay for that and so this was um what's the word I'm looking for like unplanned for <clears throat> let me see let's see unplanned yeah that's the word um, but I'm gonna also put health because I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make that a singing fund as well. Okay, unplanned. And this, the numbers was number one. But obviously right now, because it was unplanned, I put it on my credit card. So it was $169 even. <clears throat> um, another one was for June 9th, okay. And this was for our wedding venue. Uh, and I guess his and hers, but really kind of unplanned because we ended up changing our wedding venue. Life happened, unfortunately. So that cost me $700. Um, and then my boo took the rest of how much it was. Um, then the next one was June 10th. And this is in the food category and we went to walmart and you guys already know to help save money we shop around at multiple stores so we can um get the best deal mind you these stores usually are in the same proximity because people always say like oh well if you're going to all these stores you're spending gas you're spending energy it's probably not worth the savings but i have to disagree um you know my budget my paycheck says otherwise so yes so I'm gonna also put this one in food as well. And this one was Sam's Club. <clears throat> Sam's Club. And 
not a lot spent. It was only $30.06. So this right here, although we're starting the 4th of June, this is actually starting from the June 1st paycheck. Just wanna make sure I put that out there. Okay, and again, with June 10th, I'm trying to write lighter, but I feel like the lighter I write, the uglier it is. Okay, and so that's food as well. And this one is gonna be Aldi's. And for whatever reason, I had two separate Aldi's purchases. I actually cannot remember. Um, so yeah, so this was 105.73. And then again, for whatever reason, Aldi's. Maybe we forgot something. I don't know. Oh, you know why? Because it wasn't food, it was a household bill. So I'm gonna get some white out. I remember now, I decided to separate the charges so I know what was food and what was actually house. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is go like this. I was thinking too, like, girl, like, why, why would y'all do that? But no, it makes complete sense. And I don't even remember what it's called. Uh-oh. I try to put my envelope sideways because you see how standing it up is bending it? I don't like that. So, was it in here? No, it wasn't even in here. Let's see. I just want to see what it was called. I think it was like a home fund, house fund, home something. House essentials. Okay, that's what it's called. House essentials, and that's what we're gonna put. House essentials. Okay, and that is thirteen dollars and. 33 cents so i will say this because y'all know like i do my charges um when it comes to stores on my credit card but because my credit card is racking up debt and i'm paying off debt um my, my plan is to pay off all debt this month so that means whether it comes from emergency phone or whatever all credit card debt is she's gone she's gonna be gone okay she will be gone so um and or for the next paycheck, I may or may not, I say that to say, I may or may not use my credit card for getting my food because I don't feel like it's really smart to keep swiping my credit card and put charges on it while it's already accumulating debt. She doesn't like it. So this was Starbucks. You guys know I have that like money for to take care of myself. I think it's, I say to take care of myself. I don't even remember what it's called, y'all. Hold on. Treating myself. There it is. I'm treating my, treating myself. Okay, so that's the category. <clears throat> it's treating myself. And I just like, on the app you can update the money. So I did. So I updated the app and I added $30. So, cause I went to the Starbucks and I got my drink. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I love the Tezo chai tea that comes in um, the concentrate at the store. Why? Listen, Walmart, Sam's Club, all these, Rouse's, it doesn't matter. Whatever store we've gone to, they've all been sold out. I'm disappointed. So that's why I've kind of been like blowing a bag at Starbucks, honestly. Hate the soy <clears throat> So the next one is going to be June 14th. And this one, um, I went to the mall and I got an outfit, y'all. So this is unplanned. Well, I didn't even get a whole outfit. I got a piece of the outfit. This is for... I guess it would be his and hers because this is also for our um, engagement party. So that's that. But um, this ended up costing me $32.75. And I put that $32.75. Um, the next thing, and again, that's not even the whole, like that was just the pants of the outfit. <sighs> Y'all, life is expensive. Okay, and so another thing is because I was already out that day, I went ahead and went out to eat. So out to eat, and that's gonna be unplanned. And that, um, and it wasn't really like out to eat, out to eat. It was just more like fast food. <laughs> so that ended up being um, $17.09. Um, and you guys, I went to Kava. I don't know if you guys ever had Kava. Kava's really good, but it's a little pricey, a little dicey pricey when it comes to, you know, a one person meal. That was one per that was just for me, myself, and I. Can you believe it? Because I can't. Um, then on the 16th, I was having a little breakdown. I don't know about you guys, but 
when I'm emotional or something's going on, I I have my emotional shopping, and for me, it's Popeyes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put that on unplanned, but I need to start planning this out. And how much does it cost me? It cost me seven dollars and thirty six cents every time I go. I like my French fries and I like my mac and cheese. Okay, that's what I want. I want Popeyes mac and cheese and I want Popeyes Cajun French fries. Okay, and then it, it'll help me get to the other side of feeling better. Gosh, that was so ugly the way I wrote that. Um, and then the last one, the last purchase here is June 17th. And this was on Amazon. And this was, I guess, our his and hers because that's also an engagement party. And this cost $13.12. I know moving forward, I'm going to have a lot more charges when it comes to his and hers slash engagement party because it's coming up in a week or two so we're just getting like decorations and things like that so there's that but that is my transactions and now i want to get to my 2023 savings challenge um <clears throat> i just want to go ahead and oh my booze birthday is coming up soon basically what i want to do is just finish out what i added for may when it comes to my month ahead, when it comes to, uh, let's see, Mother's Day is finished, Father's Day was finished, haven't really celebrated those, I guess Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Christmas, I'm not going to add anything to treat myself, nothing for my birthday, I need to get back on that, and then these two, oh I'm sorry, these three, with the 52 weeks, $10 challenge and card. So we're going to get into this. And I'm going to zoom you guys back out so you can see it all, darling. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> so, first things first, let's go to month ahead. Now, mind you, this was my month ahead when we were splitting all our bills. Obviously, right now, I do not pay any rent. I pay the other bills. Um, I just estimated electricity at 70 which is crazy because my July bill is over $100. Um, but air conditioning, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and see how much I had saved for a month ahead from last month. And then we can go ahead and color that so it can be as accurate as possible. Which is why I don't recommend you wait so long like me. Because it won't be accurate if you wait. Okay, so now we are in our May budget. So the first check for the month ahead. I actually think this was covered because that's why it has some blue already. So, yeah, month ahead, that was $100. And then the second check, where's month ahead? Well, that was $150. So I'll just, I don't know. 150 plus 100, that's 250. So I'll just, I know it's over $1,129. So let's count it out and then go in from there. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> That's 1,000, 1, 2, 250, 70, 90. So, mind you, from June's first paycheck, I'm pretty sure I added quite a bit of money. Let's see. I added $100. So, let's just take out 100 for June's first paycheck. And then go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, one hundred, fifty, seventy, ninety, one thousand, one hundred, seventy, ninety. Okay, so that would have been at the end of. Okay, yeah, that would have been at the end of May. So I'm just gonna go over the line a little bit and go from there. I really do think that. <clears throat> And I'm going to start, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the second paycheck. But I really do think that this blue matches as best as possible. So let's see what it looks like. I don't know. This might be a disaster. Oh, here we are. Oh, no, that's not horrible. Okay, highlighter. I can get jiggy with that. Okay. So that's where we are for a month ahead for the end of May. Don't be like me and wait. <laughs> All right. I'm not really doing emergency fund because it fluctuates. I do need to go ahead and do a better job with like finding a way to track it. So it's Labor Day, let's see. 
and then let's do it. Thanks, Okay, so each one is $12.50. I know for the first paycheck, I think I only added $10 for Thanksgiving. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 times $12.50. $150 and, and that's not all the way <clears throat> so let's go ahead and count Thanksgiving and see what she's looking like uh -huh. okay so we have 1 20 30 40 50 60 65 70 75 so it's 175 um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and color out 65 so I'm gonna finish out the rest of this right here okay this color does match really well I mean it's not a hundred percent but I would give it a good 97 okay so we're gonna finish that one out and maybe even start a little bit of this one to close out May's saving challenge okay next up we have Black Friday, so it's $12.50. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six times six. That should be $75. It looks like I didn't add anything at the top of me anyway. So let's see what she's working with. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. One more time, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. Okay, so, <clears throat> plus $12.50, that would be 87.50. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color one whole one for the month of May, okay? I was slipping on my pimping on May, y'all. I gotta do better. But it's life, we're human. We all go through things or forget. So the way I see it is better late than I never. Okay, so that closes out May for Black Friday. Then we have Christmas. This is $20. One, two, three, four, and some times four. So that's 80 and I don't know. I don't know what that's gonna be. So let's count and see how much Christmas is and go from there. Okay, <clears throat> two, four, six, eight. So there's 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 115. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and two, four, six, eight, hundred. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish out this box and add I try not to color the bow I don't know why but I just don't want to color the bow okay so that finishes us finish us out for Christmas so then the next one um, not adding anything for treating myself Vacation meal or birthday. That's another one I need to, you guys. I want to do better with vacation. I really do. Um, another thing I've done, I don't know if I told you guys, is I stopped adding to my Alley account. Um, I don't know. I just felt like it was kind of hard for me to keep up with it, to be honest. I have to be honest. I have to be honest. So I kind of just took that money that was in there because I used it for vacation anyway with my credit card, paid my credit card off with it, and then closed out that Alley account. So this is 40 times three. So that's 120 in the car. And let's see where we are now. 120, 140, 50, 60, 65, 70. 120, 140, 150, 160, 165, 170. So we're at 170. So if I add 40, so I'll just color all one key set to be blue that way I can go from there okay 
So this right here also is supposed to be for a new car. Again, I haven't even been saving for like car repairs. There's so much stuff to save for. That's the thing when it comes to saving money. It's just like you gotta pay, save for car repairs, new car, insurance, car payments. It's a lot. So this has been for like a new car. Um, but a thousand dollars is my goal by the end of the year. <laughs> I'm not even like halfway there. So I really need to pick up on this car journey and get into it. <clears throat> okay. And so the $10 challenge is basically I save five, five. No, I say, I don't know why I say five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I say five tens every paycheck, which will equal out to $50. Right. And then, um, <clears throat> that will, since I get paid bi-weekly, 50 plus 50 is going to equal a hundred dollars. And I will have a hundred dollars at the end of every month added to. So this is $1,200 <clears throat> by the last day of this year. So that was successful. And then finally, very last and very finally is the 52 week savings challenge. Now I can't a hundred percent remember i think the last one was 15 and 150 so yeah because 150 is plus 15 is 165 so 15 and 150 these two right here are the last two for the month of may okay, little catch up but like i said better late than never i'm barely coloring these in All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this catch up. Um, <clears throat> let me put this back. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this catch up. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Um, also, make sure you take advantage of the sale that's going on at paperbymo.com. It's 90% off of everything. So make sure you guys check that out. Have a happy Father's Day. I hope your Father's Day today was good. Um, for all the fathers and all of those who had time to spend time with their fathers, or their children's fathers or their grandfathers or whomever um also enjoy juneteenth that's also a holiday and you should definitely enjoy it whether it be a cookout fun parade whatever it is um again make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in another video bye